If you have a WordPress business website, a blog or maybe an affiliate website, then in order to grow your business, you need to make sure that you keep a track on how your visitors are interacting with your website. If you have an e-commerce website, then you need to track how many people are clicking on the add to cart button. If you are providing a freebie on your sales or any landing page, then I'm sure you want to track how many people clicked on that download button. And if you have an affiliate website where you are promoting someone else's product, then it's very important for you to track how many people clicked on the button which took them to the affiliate product. So in this video, I will show you how you can use the plus add-ons for Elementor to do the event tracking on your WordPress website so that you will be able to know how your website visitors are behaving with your WordPress website. My name is Ankit Sharma from the team Pose Myth. And if you want to learn more about the amazing features of plus add-ons for Elementor, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. Now, one of the best way to track visitors on our WordPress website is to use Google Analytics. And we are going to use the same to track how people are interacting with our website with the help of plus add-ons for Elementor. So here we are in our WordPress backend and here we need to make sure that we have installed and activated the plus add-ons for Elementor. And once that is done, we need to go to the plus settings and here in the plus widgets, here we will search for event and this is the event tracker widget we need to enable. And this is part of the pro plan of the plus add-ons for Elementor. So make sure you have the pro version of this plugin. And once we turn this widget on, make sure you click on save from here. We will be tracking all the events by two ways. One by Google Analytics and second by Facebook Pixel. So in this video, we will concentrate only on Google Analytics. So in order to get data in Google Analytics, it's important that we enter the Google Analytics tracking code in the back end of our website. And if you are using the plus add ons for Elementor, the easiest way is to go in extra options. And here you will find Google Analytics tracking ID. And here you can enter your tracking ID for Google Analytics. Now, if in case you have entered the tracking code anywhere else using any of the plugin, you don't have to mention this tracking code here. But if you have not, then this is the easiest way. Now, let's say we have an Amazon affiliate website where we want to create this landing page and we are promoting this book which is available for sale on Amazon. So here we have the landing page, we have the image for the book as well as we have the buy now button which will take us to the Amazon website. Now, as an affiliate website owner, I'm sure you want to know how many people clicked on this buy on Amazon button. And even if you are selling this book on your WooCommerce store, then I'm sure you want to know how many people click on add to cart if in case it's add to cart here. So the best way to do that is to implement event tracking on this button. So let's go ahead and edit this page in Elementor and see how we can do that. So here we are in our Elementor editor and right now we are using this button here. So this is the button from the plus add on. You can implement this event tracking on any of the Elementor element. And once you add this button here, so you can put up your affiliate link here and you can give it any text. And in order to add the event tracking, we need to go to advance. And at the very bottom, we have an option for plus extra events tracker. So this plus extra is the option added once we have turned on that widget in the plus setting. So now if we click on this widget, we will get two options. One is the Facebook pixel and the second one is the Google Analytics. So in this video, we will be concentrating on Google Analytics tracking. So here you need to make sure that this Google Analytics option is turned on. And after that, we will get three fields to enter. First is the event name and second is the event category and third is the event label. So once we enter the detail of all these three elements, we will click on update. And once we refresh the front end, Let's go ahead and click on this button. So it will take us to the Amazon website like any other Amazon affiliate website. 
and now if we come back in our google analytics so here in the real time view we can see that we are on this page and if we open up this section of real time and if we go to the event section here we can see that the event category buy on amazon is showing one active user on the site and this is from the desktop so as you can see these are the details which we have entered in the back end of the event tracker so right now the event category is buy on amazon and event action is sales and event label is sales landing page and that's exactly the same details which we have entered here so by this you can add the event tracker for all the buttons on your affiliate website and you will be able to know how many people are clicking on your affiliate links and all that information will be available right in your google analytics and as i mentioned before you can add the same thing on your woocommerce buy now or add to cart button now let's consider a case you are selling this book and you want to provide a free preview of this book in form of a PDF. And on the landing page, you have added this download free sample button. So I'm sure you want to track how many people click on this download button. So you will be able to know if this landing page is working for you or not, or for any other reason, I'm sure you want to know how many people click on this button. So in order to track this, we again come back in our Elementor editor and here on this button we will add the desired text and we will link the pdf file from the link option here and once again you can use default element or button or you can use the plus add-on button or any other element or element and once again we will go to advance and if we scroll at the very bottom we will find this plus extra events tracker option and here again we will turn on google analytics and this time we will name the event name as ebook sample button. The event category will be ebook leads and the event label is ebook sample download. And once we enter all these three details, we will again come back in the front end and refresh the front end again. Here on the analytics, we can see that this is the live page which we are on right now. And now if we click on this download free sample, so we get this PDF downloaded here or opened up in the new tab in the browser. And if we go in the real time analytics, if we come back again in the events, here you can see that the ebook leads category is now showing the data. So this is how we can track all the downloads from our WordPress website. Now let's consider another case where you have a form which you want to use as a lead form where you might be giving a free giveaway or this might be a general business lead form. So I'm sure you want to track how many people filled up this form. So once again, we will open up this page in Elementor editor and right now we are using Elementor native form widget and this event tracking can work on any form widget which you can use on Elementor. So here we have our sample form and once again, if we go in advanced section, we come down here in the plus extra event tracker. We have enabled Google Analytics and we have already filled up all the three details. If we open the page in the front end, let's go ahead and fill up some sample details here. So I have just entered some sample details and let's go ahead and click on send. So now the form is successfully sent. So here in the real time view, we can see that we are on the contact us page. That is the same page where we have this form. And if we go in the real time section under events, and here we can see an entry for ebook giveaway event category. And that's the category name which we have given here in our form. So with this event tracker, we can now track how many people filled up our lead form or any kind of form on our WordPress website. Now let's consider a new case where you want to capture how many people subscribed for your newsletter. So in this case, we will consider that you are using MailChimp. So the plus add-ons comes with a widget specially for MailChimp. So here in the plus settings, we need to make sure in the widgets we have MailChimp turned on or activated. Now, once you turn on the MailChimp widget, 
we need to go in the extra options and here you need to enter your MailChimp API key as well as MailChimp list ID. We will come back on this page editor and here we are using the same MailChimp widget to create this form. And once again, in order to track how many people subscribe to our newsletter, we will go back in the advanced section and at the very bottom, we will choose the Google Analytics and here we have the event name, category and label already filled up. So let's try to enter our email address and then click on subscribe. So here we have entered a sample email address. Let's click on subscribe. So now we have successfully subscribed to this email list. And in the Google Analytics, we are back on the same page. Here we can see our event is getting recorded in real time. And if in case you want to see the past data of this event tracking, you can go to behavior section here under events, you can go to overview. And here you will find all the details of the event tracking that you are doing on your WordPress website. So this is how easy it is to track how people are interacting with your WordPress website using the event tracker widget from the plus add-ons for Elementor. If you want to learn more about such amazing features of this plugin, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.